Hello everybody, this is Saad with you again, your favorite realtor and today as you can see I'm back in Rashid Yachts and Marina to take a look at the new launch coming up here which is called Avonlea and Bayline. Alright, these are a collection of two buildings that's coming up in Rashid Yachts and Marina. Now as we know, Rashid Yachts and Marina is a seafront community in Dubai coming up by Imar as you can see. The buildings in full swing, construction is going on in full swing. These are the first two buildings of the Rashid Yachts and Marina master plan. So these buildings are expected to have a community view with the canal pool on the side and also views of the sea and Burj Khalifa on that side. So as you can see, we have the Burj Khalifa right there in the distance. So you have the downtown skyline as well as water views on one side of the building. So amazing project coming up again. The capital appreciation aspect of this project is going to be very, very high because if you compare any other, any other seafront community in Dubai, the minimum price per square foot right now is 3,500 minimum. And right here, we're expecting a price lesser than 2,000 dinners per square foot. So you can imagine the kind of capital gains that is expected to happen here. All right, so we're going to take a look. We're going to attend the agent's briefing and come back with some more details for you. This right here is the new two buildings that are launching called Avonlea and Bayline. As you can see, this these two buildings right here and this building right here. So as you can see, this is going to be facing the canal pool over here and they have made another beautiful pool right here for the people. And also, the units on that side of the building will also have views of the water, as you can see. So this right here is the bigger model of Bayline and Avonlea. That's Bayline right there and these two buildings are Avonlea and they have this beautiful pool that they have made for the community and beautiful views of the pool from here and the podium deck and right there is the canal pool which is the longest pool in the world all right so you're either going to have beautiful community views and the pool views from this side and the units here especially here this line of units will also have sea view on the other side and the downtown skyline view so guys the agent briefing is done we have all the details regarding the launch of the new buildings coming up at Rashid Yachts and Marina. It's going to be called Bayline and Avonlea in Rashid Yachts and Marina. And we're going to take a look at all the details about what makes this new project such a good investment opportunity in Dubai right now. So, this is where Rashid Yachts and Marina is. And as you can see, I've created a radius and there is no organized master plan community in a six kilometer radius of Rashid Yachts and Marina. So you can imagine all the people that's living here and having their businesses here in Bar Dubai, in Dera, in Garhud, all of these people, this is going to be the community for them to stay in because they would not want to move away from their location. And there's not many freehold options available in this area. And also there is no proper community and Imar is going to be the first one to bring a proper master plan, a master community in this location and not to forget it's going to be a seafront community so you can imagine what kind of value we are getting with Rashid Yachts and Marina. All right. Also there's some ongoing work right here for a flyover which will make once the flyover is ready it's going to make the distance from Rashid Yachts and Marina to the airport only about 10 minutes. Rashid Yachts and Marina to Sheikh Zayed Road, which is this one, only about 10 minutes again. And Rashid Yachts and Marina all the way to downtown is going to be around 20 minutes. So great connectivity anywhere in Dubai, very close to the airport, very close to Sheikh Zayed Road. Beautiful location and again, seafront, seafront community. Now, we are going to compare Rashid Yachts and Marina to other Imar communities that are launched and how they have grown and what we can expect from Russia Jobs and Marina in terms of growth. So let's take a look at Imar Beachfront. Imar Beachfront has grown in the past three years from 2,500 square foot all the way up to 6,000 dirhams per square foot. That's a gain of 140% for the people who invested back in 2021 in the initial stages of Imar Beachfront. And now let's look at Dubai in the state again from 1,400 square foot. This was not even the initial stage stage of Dubai as a state. This was along the line just a couple of years ago, but even in the last couple of years ago, Dubai as a state has grown about 57%. And now again, with Dubai Creek Harbor, we have seen a gain from 2021 to 2023 in the past two years of 64%. Now, Rashid Yachts and Marina, it's in the infancy stage of this community. We are just literally in the phase one. They told us today that the community is going to be 1.5 million square meters 
in area 1.5 million all right and the phase one of russia Yacht Marina is only going to be about 300,000 square meters so you can imagine how much more development is yet to come in russia Yacht marina and how amazing this community is going to be and we are still in the ground floor stage of this community now the next slide will give you more understanding of what we can expect this particular community to grow in the next two years by taking an example of the other seafront communities of Dubai. So this right here is the map of the entire coastline of Dubai. As you can see, this is the entire coastline of Dubai and I've conveniently marked all the areas with numbers. As you can see, this is Blue Waters Island right here. This is JBR, Imar Beachfront, Palm Jumeirah, uh, MJL, Bulgaria Island, this is La Mer, this is Pearl Jumeirah and this is Mina Russian. And as you can see, number nine, Mina Russian. Current prices, 2,000 dirhams per square foot. Now, if you take a look at the next closest price right here, you're going to find it right here in Medina Jumeirah Living and you're going to find it in JBR at 3,500. All of these are sharing the exact same coastline, the exact same water is being shared by all of these communities. Now, it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time when Mina Rashid, Rashid Yachts and Marina catches up to these other communities. This is a no-brainer right now. The, the prices right here are seriously undervalued in the market. The next closest to these prices are about 80% higher and that you're going to find in JBR and also in Medina Jumeirah Living. So we also had the prices revealed today. Again, we're looking at 1.6 million for the one beds, 2.3 million for the two beds, 3.3 million for the three beds and we also are going to have some three bed duplexes starting at 5.3 million. So this right here again is the master plan of Rashid Yachts and Marina. As you can see, this entire thing is going to be the master plan, 1.5 million square meters of area in this master plan. This is going to be the size of downtown Dubai in terms of area, all right? You need to understand how big of a master plan this is and it being a seafront community with its own marina, yacht parking, and beautifully, gonna, it's going to be beautifully landscaped, all right? Existing infrastructure everywhere, new flyovers coming along. That right there is the infinity bridge that we all know, all right? So the new building that's coming up in Russian Yachts and Marina is going to be right here, all right? This is a one layer, and right beside it, this is going to be Bayline, all right? So previously launched was Clear Point right here. Uh, there's a video on my YouTube channel for this one. If you want to learn more about Russian Yachts and Marina, you can also watch that video. I'm going to put it up there it's in the corner somewhere so you can take a look. All right, now let's move on to the next slide, which is going to be the exit strategy. So my YouTube channel is extremely investor oriented. All right. Um, end users might not get the best uh, value out of my YouTube channel because I'm trying to cater to the investors who are trying to make money in this market, in this bullish market right now. So what we're looking at right now is a cash flow analysis for Rashid Yachts and Marina, a two bedroom in Rashid Yachts and Marina. All right. So we have the starting price right here at 2.34 million. Uh, we have the starting size at 1209 square foot. Okay. That brings it up to 1935 dirhams per square foot. All right. So now this is the payment plan, the current new payment plan in Rashid Yachts and Marina. On average, you're looking at a cash flow of about 20% per year. All right. Now, each installment is going to be 10%, all right? Right here, this is 2023. We only have a couple of months to go before the year end, so it's only going to be 10% right here. In 2024, you're going to have 30%, and then after that, every year is going to be 20%, all right? So now, we're taking a conservative, conservative case uh, with a 10% yearly appreciation, all right? So looking at that, in July of 2025, we can expect the prices to be at 2250 that makes it a profit of 380,000 dirhams and your ROE turns out to be 32.5%, all right, which is really good for a span of two years. We're looking at uh, around 16% year on year uh, gains, cash on cash gains, all right. So the best point to exit in this project is obviously going to be at handover when we can expect the prices to be around 3000 dirhams per square foot. As we saw in this slide, this right, right here, 3,000 3, is not a stretch for Rashid Yachts and Marina. It's very, very easily achievable for this community to reach 3,000 square foot because if you take a look, 
The next closest thing is 3,500. So for Yash, uh, for, so for Russia, Yash and Marina to reach 3,000 dirhams per square foot in around three and a half years from now, it's very, very realistic. Very realistic for Russia, Yash and Marina to reach that price in November of 2027. So we are looking at four years from now, four years, okay? Easily achievable price target at 3,000 dirhams per square foot. This is a very conservative case. If once we reach the price of 3,000 dirhams per square foot, you're looking at a clean profit of almost about 1.3 million. That makes your ROE 55%. This is what we're looking at during handover. And we can expect even really good rental incomes in Rashi Yachim Marina, as we know, because of the amenities that are right there, the longest canal pool, we have uh, close access to the airport. We have the marina right there. We have down on the bike close by. We're going to have metro access. We're going to have access to Sheikh Zayed Road. Amazing location. It's going to be really good for rentals as well. But we're just talking about appreciation right now and we're looking at around 55% ROE by the time of handover in this project in a very, very conservative case. Now, let's take a more, a little more of a higher case where we can expect 15% yearly appreciation. All right. So that, that will bring us right here. So you can take a look at the different exit points. So we can strategize the exit points based on your strategy. So what I would recommend is to hold until handover, uh, where we could expect a price of 3,500 dirhams per square foot matching something like JBR and um, uh, MJL. And mind you, we are going to be four years in the future. The prices of those communities are also going to be higher at that time. It's not going to be stuck at 3,500 over there. Maybe they also reach at maybe 4,500, 5,000 dirhams per square foot. And at that time, Russian Girls and Marina reaches 3,500 dirhams per square foot. Now, another thing, okay, if that happens, by the way, you make a profit of almost 1.9 billion. That makes an ROE of 80%. Take a look at this number. From a one two bedroom apartment, you could stand to make a profit of around 1.9 million, all right? Your, your original price would be 2.34 uh, million and you would look to exit at something around 4.2, 4.25 million, ideally, all right, to make a healthy, healthy profit of around 1.9 million on your one property purchase. That's going to be amazing. This is why I keep pushing Rashid Yachts and Marina to the investors looking for the best deals in the market, the no-brainer deals in the market, the distressed deals in the market. This is the distressed deal in the market. If you don't understand the, the numbers, take a look at the numbers. And you'll understand why Russian Yachts and Marina is actually a distressed deal in the market. All right. So another thing to, uh, for me to give you an idea. Okay. All of these communities, all of these eight communities, what's different between them and Russian Yachts and Marina? What is the only one difference between these and Russian Yachts and Marina? The only difference right now is that there are people living in all of these communities and Mina Russia, Russia Yachts and Marina, the first handover is going to be next year and that's when people move in. And then once people move into this community, once people start staying there, once the first owners come and live in their apartments or the tenants come in to stay in the apartments, that's when you see the magic happen. You see the magic happen. That's exactly when the prices will start shooting up. All of a sudden you'll see prices moving up really quickly. All right. This 2000 dirhams per square foot could easily be around 2500 by, you know, during the time of handover. Just so just because the community is ready, the community is alive, people are starting to move there, people are starting to stay in there. So keep an eye out on 2024 for the prices of Rashi Yachts and Marina. You're going to see a big jump in the prices of Rashi Yachts and Marina. All right. So moving along, we've taken a look at both the cases. All right. These are still very, very conservative cases. I'm expecting Rashi Yachts and Marina to be even higher in terms of price per square foot by the time of completion of this particular project. I'm really expecting a higher price, but I'm trying to keep it conservative so that um, I know this will land. All right. I don't want to give you crazy numbers, but this is very, very conservative numbers right here. You could easily expect this community to reach this price point just by taking a look at the other communities sharing the same coastline. All right. So now these are just some of the renders of Rashi Yachts and Marina. As you can see the beautiful pool, uh, we have the downtown skyline in the background, a beautifully designed building, very, very modern architecture. All right. And as you can see, uh, this pool that they've made, by the way, this pool uh, right here is going to be 200 meters on one side and 177 meters on the other side. 
It's an L-shaped pool and it's going to be a huge, huge pool, 200 meters and 177 meters. So that's a huge length of pool right there. All right. Some more renders for you to take a look at. All right. As you can see, this is the pool area and this is not going to be a normal pool. This is going to be a really special pool. All right. Again, some more of that. This is how your interiors are going to be like. Really beautiful. Imad does a great job with interiors. Um, modern finishing. And yeah, that's the end of the presentation. So the launch is happening on 16th of November. Today is 14th. So day after tomorrow is the launch. Uh, my number is going to be on the screen. If you're interested, you please get in touch with me because the launch again, it's going to be a hot launch. Like all the other Imad launches, we're going to have units selling out on day one. So the earlier we can prepare for it, it's better. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. And for now, this is South Dubai Realtor signing off.